Oneness of God The first article of Faith in Islam presents the belief in the oneness of God. Iman, or faith in English, begins with the belief in Allah, the Glorious, from which all other facets of faith spring. A Muslim must adhere to and acknowledge the idea that no deity is worthy of his or her worship, love, subservience, hope, and fear other than Allah. Nothing in existence is worthy of one's ultimate loyalty and sacrifice, nor worth lowering the head in prostration or humility except for Allah, the creator of all. The Arabic word Allah means God. Allah is not a different God, nor a new God invented by Prophet Muhammad or by Muslims. Allah is the semantic term for God. Arabic Jews and Arabic Christians also use the word Allah in their books. Islam is a monotheistic religion, and the belief that only one God should be worshipped is fundamental to the faith. The idea of multiple gods is rejected in Islam, as is highlighted many times throughout the Quran. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the third of three, and there is no God except one God, and if they do not desist from what they are saying, they will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Quran 573. In another verse, God expresses his wrath for those that attribute a son to him, calling it highly inappropriate and atrocious for one to commit this sin. And they say, the most merciful has taken for himself a son. You have done an atrocious thing. The heavens almost rupture therefrom, and the earth splits open, and the mountains collapse in devastation. That they attribute the most merciful a son and it is not appropriate for the Most Merciful that he should take a son. Quran 19, 88-92 The most severe sin in Islam is known as shirk, which translates to the concept of ascribing a partner to Allah. The term also encompasses attributing divine qualities to any other besides Allah. Shirk is the only sin that God does not forgive if a person dies before repenting from. The Christian belief that Jesus is the Son of God, or God Himself, is an example of shirk. The belief in the concept of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a grave sin in Islam. Allah states in the Holy Quran that on the Day of Judgment, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon Him, will deny ever asking people to worship Him instead of God or along with God. And remember, when Allah will say on the Day of Resurrection, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say unto men, Worship me and my mother as two gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to you. It was not for me to say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would surely have known it. You know what is in my inner self, though I do not know what is in yours, truly. You, only you, are the all-knower of all that is hidden and unseen. Quran 5, 116. God is the one to whom worship is due. He is the creator, the provider, the sustainer of everything. He is the supreme, the eternal. God has no father nor mother, no son or daughter, no partner nor equal. He is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing, all-powerful, all-merciful. It is He who gives life and causes death. It is He who is unique in His names, and attributes. Everything in this world and everything it contains, the whole universe, including you and I, belong to the one God. We use the phrases, my hand, my house, my money, but in reality, it all belongs to God. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Whether you show what is within yourselves or conceal it, Allah will bring you to account for it. Then He will forgive whom He wills and punish whom he wills, and Allah is over all things competent. Quran 2, 284